At the 2023 South African Championships, Wade Van Niekerk just dropped the fastest time in the world this year in the men's 400 meters by a significant margin. Over the opening 200 meters, he was biding his time in the middle of the pack. However, with about 150 meters remaining, he turned on the jets. I mean, he absolutely pushed forward like a rocket and he stormed home to a 400 meter national title in 44.17 seconds, the fastest time in the world this year by almost half of a second. This final stretch was extremely reminiscent of his 2016 world record, where even to the shock of the announcers, he only got further and further away from his competition as the finish line got closer. There's just something about Van Niekerk's final 100 meters when he's at his best. From his nearly perfect upright posture to his devastating strength, he just brings home the smoke better than anyone else in the world over the final 100. And right now, he simply has to be considered as one of the clear favorites to win a global medal in this year's World Championships in Budapest. Now, this finishing time holds extraordinary significance, as Van Niekerk's story since 2017 is actually one of the saddest in track and field. After winning his third straight global title in the 2017 World Championships, just a few days later he tore his ACL during a celebrity rugby match, and ever since this moment, he has been on a slow and steady return to the top of the world. And now, some six years later, I think he has officially made it back to the top, because 44.17 for his first competition of the year is absolutely moving. This is actually the fastest time that Von Niekerk has run since 2017, even faster than his Olympic performances in 2021, faster than his World Championship showing in 2022, even faster than his 400 meter season closer last year, when he took down Karani James with a time of 44.33. This really is a huge showing for the world record holder over the 400, but the scary part of this finishing time showcases a very similar kind of result as to what we saw in 2016, which of course was the year where he broke the world record with a time of 43.03. .03. For his 2016 Olympic campaign, Van Niekerk opened his 400 meter season with a convincing win again at the South African Championships with a time of 44.11 seconds, just six one hundredths faster than what he just did. And then following this blistering season opener, he showcased incredible consistency all the way up to his last 400 race of the season, which of course was his unforgettable Olympic world record in the Rio Olympics. For the past two years, Van Niekerk has showcased consistent improvements throughout his entire racing seasons, and specifically in 2022, he ended his year with two of the fastest times that he has run in five years, running a 44.39 in Zurich, Switzerland, and then his 44.33 in Bellinzona, Switzerland. Like the world champion and Olympic champion that he is, Van Niekerk simply knows how to perform with the best in the world during the biggest moments of the season. And this championship racing capability is exactly why I think 2023 is the year where he returns to the world championship podium. Like a quiet storm building in the background, this smooth and powerful athlete has been taking his time, preparing himself for the moment when he is finally ready. And like a phoenix from the ashes, he has already showcased beyond any doubt that he is back. And this year could be one for the record books for Wade Van Niekerk once again. If anyone doubted this man before today, then I would recommend that you check yourself now, because a 44.17 at this point in the season is actually so fast that it would have actually won the gold medal in last year's World Championship Finals, and it would have earned him this placement by more than one tenth of a second. Things are looking very, very good for Wade Van Niekerk this season, and with this only being his first race, I want to pass this question off to you. What do you think Wade Van Niekerk will do in 2023, and what will his fastest time of the year ultimately be? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, Van Niekerk is an absolute legend.